Alright everybody, welcome back to I Suck at World of Tanks Part 7. Um, just like I promised, I told everybody that, you know, I messed up on Friday. I had family come in and had no, no possible chance of doing anything. So, here's my second video for Monday. I told y'all it'd be done, so it's here. Um, two pretty good matches. This is probably the longest video I've ever made. That's World of Tanks or, you know, these games related. And, you know, I've made personal videos right at the 15 minute mark. But, so what we have now is we're running in. I don't remember if we win this match or lose this match, but I know the second match. It goes on for a while. But the very end is pretty awesome. But I'll let y'all see the, the final battle that comes down to. And let's see who gets first blood. It's going to be... I don't want it to keep playing this slow. I love trying to hide through the trees and sneak up on people. It's really useful when you get in the second tier and they start getting, oh, we got first blood three in a row. But, uh, sneaking through trees is really, really good when you get into the second tier and you have the SPGs coming down on top of you because they will tear you up. Like, if they can see you, they're going to hit you. So if you're hiding in the trees, you have a better shot. But if you're uh, hiding in the trees and hit a tree, well, they're going to see you. And that won't end well. Because it, it only takes them. You can, if you can one-shot them, you can one-shot somebody with a SDG. No problem. If you get a good hit, if you know what you're doing. I got stuck trying to go into the water. <laughs> trying to keep back sneaking around I, my essential plan or initial not essential initial plan was to sneak around and get back towards their uh, base but I know I didn't make it I know I didn't make it that far I don't even think I technically got a kill I know I hit a guy hit a few guys pretty good few times. So, there we go, come on, get the shots off. Critical hit. The engine is damaged. We're dead for it. Everyone get out. See, I knew I didn't make it. Now, why am I still seeing... On my thing, there we go. I think we end up just wiping them out. No, no. I remember what happened. We lose this match. Because, remember what I said the other day? That if you get a couple of good people that can carry your team, well, it gets down to where they have three, four people to R8. And they manage to get a person on their, two people on their team who can carry them. And they carry them hard. All the way to the end. And there's just nothing we can do about it. Come on guys, keep moving forward. He just ran up on that guy. I don't even know. He's gonna get down him. He's gonna, oh, he manages to down him. There we go. Oh, I remember what happens to this guy. He ends up trying to shoot through the windows of this house. 
which for future reference unless you're inside the house and you have a good angle you're not going to shoot through that window so basically what ends up happening he's trying to shoot through the window and doesn't see the guy to the side of him just laying waste into his side all of this is now remembering that we lose see I have the guy targeted but yeah, there he goes but knowing that we uh, we lost this match means we lost both matches because the, the last one's epic even though there's not much fighting through it. Like you won't see much fighting because of the route I'm going. But uh, at the end it comes down to two tanks on our team to their team and you know, it doesn't end well. But it looks good. Everybody's going down. Come on, guys. Y'all can pull this off, maybe. You know. Running up the... I don't know if he was trying to cap, or if he was just trying to get to where he could find some tanks to shoot at. He finds plenty of them though. And there he goes. Down to five. It's five on five now. It's a complete even team. Four. <laughs> And now, for the first time in this match, we're losing. But it comes down to four. Come on. I don't know why I stayed on this guy so long. He can't see anything. This guy's out in the open. I don't know how he ain't dead. This guy sitting at... I think our flag. Come on guys, quit messing around. This guy's at least leading a charge. Oh, it looks like a charge. One person's hiding. Man, they make this video take forever. Nope. One guy being shot at. And that leaves us with three. Two out in the open, one hiding. How he's still alive, I do not know. Come on guys, y'all can do this. Oh, see, he can see somebody, but you, he can't hit him from here. I don't know why he's not moving at all. This guy's gonna try and, I guess, take their tank, but it don't matter. And then there were two. See, so just proof that if you have good people on your team you can make a match go and just go and get it done when I uh, when I first recorded this I was like oh man I'm gonna end up having to make two videos on a day just because I wouldn't be able to fit both matches in you can't tell if this guy's shooting at that guy or what if he's hitting him I'll give it to him that's a long shot and then there was one, and they're fixing to finish him off, so it don't take much.
exactly 10 minutes into the video. Not bad. So the first match was 10 minutes on its own, and the other one's the 5 minute. Alright, let's finish this bad boy. I'm gonna... I'm, I'm happy about this one, and I'm not happy about it because we lost. If uh, we had finished the way I had hoped, it would have been a lot cooler. But, uh, unfortunately, we didn't finish the full-on way that I would have liked to, so. Come on. Start the match. I hate these where it's like, oh, you have to wait 30 seconds. Time to roll out. There we go. And see, this is the one that I was talking about that, uh, that last match where uh, I sneak around. So, I end up sneaking all the way around, getting to their base, and trying to cap it. And you're going to see me shoot a friend, or shoot one of my teammates for the first time, and hopefully the last. But uh, right as I hit my shot, he backed right back up into it took the shot, so, I don't have to worry about them being like, oh, he was briefing him, I could get banned or any of that, because, well, one, I got a video proof it was a complete accident, they happened to walk directly into it, not much you can do about that. See, me and this other guy had the same idea, let's go up the hill, and of course, this side, of the hill takes forever, but it's getting down to their base. It's so quick. As you can see off to the side, the uh, other team is quickly making work of our team. And I mean quickly. We're already half down. Just about. Seeing there's, you know, teams of 15, 6, and 7 gone, it's about half. Regardless. So, and we're at 8. See, I'm completely looking around, making sure no tanks are going to find me. Although, I'm just going straight to their base. They're going to know I'm there. It gives you the comp. Hey, someone's at their base. Alright, finally making it over here. The uh, entire thing about World of Tanks is, is it's just like real tanks. You have no armor behind you. Your entire back end is the thinnest part. So I'm turning it towards the church so I don't take shots from behind. Um, this is coming right up on the end. You can see that we're, uh, we're trying to cap. We make it and see here's where I'm fixing to shoot my teammate because he keeps coming back and forth to see right into him. All right, guys, while this is finishing up here at the last few seconds, uh, if you like what you saw, like, favorite, leave me a comment. And um, until next time, this has been Bronze. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time.